Hey guys, Lek here. So I'm in my 2007 Dodge Charger and I have this check engine light on. I checked what it is uh, using my OBD2 reader and it's the PO455 and PO456 code, which is the Evaporative Emission System Leak. So this uh, could be your gas cap. This could be this part right here. Uh, and mainly actually the seal here. So we're gonna check both and do a replacement video for this piece because most likely that's what it is. Uh, if you wanna see how to actually use these readers, uh, I have videos below, but this video is basically to show you how to fix the issue. Thank you. So first we're gonna check the gas cap, make sure that the seal is good, that it's all tight. It even says right here, a loose cap may turn on service or check engine light on. So it tells you right here. So first thing you wanna do is inspect that the rubber seal is good, that there's no damage or cracks anywhere, and that basically this close is good and has a good solid close. Um, feels good, uh, so probably not that, but is it is possible. I mean, it is good to change these after a while, I guess. Uh, but next we're gonna to go to the, probably the main issue that what it is, and it's that little. And it's basically this guy here that's behind the uh, passenger side um, rear wheel cover. So we're going to pop the wheel off and check this out. And it's the seal usually that goes bad. Alright guys, so to get to this part over here, um, it's located uh, passenger side back wheel well back here so we have to pop the wheel off, remove this housing so we can get in there and replace it. So we're going to pop the wheel off and do that right now. Make sure you're using jacks then in addition to your uh, floor jack so nothing drops on you. To get this wheel well cover off, we're gonna pop all these tabs off and all you're using is a flathead screwdriver. You prime this open, pull out, and then you can pull this piece out. That's how these clips work. Basically, this one goes in place pressure expands it and holds it in place if you break these or lose them you can get a whole replacement kit for your car it's about 10 bucks out of zone or uh, harbor freight and um, it will have all different sizes for all different pieces on your car you can use a plier too something that's easier Few taps over here. There is actually a little screw. You're gonna screw here, and we'll pull these out. Might have to move these as well. Pull this off, but we'll see. So I'll get all that off right now. So take all the tabs off that you see, and now we're just pulling this out. Our piece. So the seal is probably the issue which sits right here but we're going to replace the whole thing as this car is a 2007 so it's time. All right so we've got to remove this whole assembly here. This already broke here the second I moved it. The plastic is old. You don't have to take this out. We just gotta pop this off. So, there's a little tab here that basically locks this in place. So we gotta push this tab in. And then this should let you twist this whole assembly off. And it pops off just like that. Actually, there's really no need to disconnect this, so I'm not going to. We're just gonna pull the old one out. Disconnect it here. Okay, I'm gonna disconnect the power here. So, there 
a little tab you gotta lift and push up. Okay, so out with the old and in with the new. Don't forget your new gasket. The old one actually didn't seem to have any cracks, but we're gonna replace it anyway. And that goes right in here. That's the tab that was holding it locked down. The gasket's going right in here. Okay, just like that. Now we can connect this up. And connect the hose up. This is gonna snap in here. Same way, we're gonna twist it back on and lock it in with this. So try to keep this loose. Too. So just line up the teeth. Okay, and now she just snap in. down which I'm gonna need two hands for okay now we're clicked in I'm gonna pop this guy back in here and we are all set guys this is what you want it to look like new seal Nice tight fit, locked in. That's it. We'll put this all back together now, and we're all done. So guys, problem is solved. If for some reason your code is still on, replace that gas cap, um, or just clear the code with the reader. I'll show you guys at the end of this video how to do that. Um, as um, Sometimes that's all that's maybe that's needed and if it comes back then you know it's something else, but I appreciate you guys watching Please subscribe follow any questions. Let me know. Thank you guys So here's a quick clip to show you how to actually clear the codes if you need to um, Simple as that enter Erase. Yeah, you sure? Yes And I should wipe that check engine light I'm going to start the car and check.